So, so pitch me, uh, I'm Elon, you know, I can uh, take $44 billion and put it towards Twitter. I can uh, scrap it and uh, put, or even, you know, make it $43 billion. What, what, what do you tell him? What should he do? What would you do? Who knows? I mean, what, what would I do? I mean, he's a physics major. He was at UPenn. Uh, I mean, more than like a physics yours. major. He's evidenced, I think, continuing interest in physics. But he has hijacked the conversation of getting off the planet, um, which should be a conversation about many, 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 many different experiments rather than the moon and Mars. And getting off with physics to being a, a conversation about rockets. So anytime you talk about diversifying existential risk to humans, um, someone will now say, oh, don't worry, bro. Elon's going to get us to Mars with those awesome, awesome rockets. It's just like, I don't understand this. So I, I can't pitch Elon. So would I you don't go, know. I mean, but, but, but again, to push back with respect, as you know, I always do. And I cheerfully uh, recognize that I may have a huge blind spots myself. But mm -hmm. it's, it seems to me as if you're going back to 1491 and you're telling, you know, Queen Esmeralda or whoever, um, don't fund this guy, Chris, uh, Chris C. Uh, don't fund whoa, him whoa, whoa. he's just. Wait, wait, wait. That doesn't make sense. We should do rockets. Okay. We shouldn't obsess about rockets. Right. I mean, not rockets only in the portfolio. But but again, let me just finish my tortured analogy because it took me like half an hour to make it up in the shower this morning. Uh, but, uh, you know, are you telling her uh, we should really fund this guy, you know, Yitzhak Newton, uh, or, you know, to get these laws that will actually take us to the moon? Uh, you know, let, let's just uh, skip ahead. Boats, forget about these barks and and, uh, and, and boats. Let's galleons. Let's skip ahead. Um, I don't know that that would actually get us where we want to go, right? Because it, it, you're saying... You know, this your priors are going to be informed uh, by the either an, a no go theorem that says we can't go beyond Einstein. In which case, what would you say? There are no aliens. If if we couldn't go beyond Einstein, yeah, if we're trapped in no, four, there's three there's no, plus so one. like this is another problem, which is is that Einstein hijacked the conversation so that now every time we talk, it's like, no, dude, we, we have time dilation, we have wormholes, it's like we have Alcubierre drives. Blinding them. Oh, no. I He's thought you down. were making him a, a crypto enthusiast with laser eyes. That's right. Einstein with laser eyes. I, I told him. Um, okay. okay. Don't you? Okay. So um, I don't think Elon shouldn't do rockets. I think rockets is a profitable business. And I think getting people excited about the future has to do with going back to the last moment when we actually, as a country, you know, we didn't want to say, let's develop ICBMs that are really efficient in uh, hitting Beijing and Moscow. We said, uh, we choose to go to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, okay, so, you know, true enough. So go to the moon. But stop with the terraforming and Mars is the, in the, the light of human civilization. I, I just, you have to actually want to save us from ourselves right now and talk about it in order to realize how completely crazy Elon has made everyone who listens to him. Because at the moment, if you had Einstein and you had Elon, people would be gravitating to Elon. Hmm. He's charismatic, Cold he's male emotion. in a world which is not comfortable with masculine traits. He's highly chaotic, he's very entertaining. Mm -hmm. And people have this idea of like, yo, dude, he's the richest man in the world, bro. And that's the currency of our time. So my feeling about this is everyone Elon reaches with the story of terraforming Mars with rockets and all this kind of stuff thinks that's the plan. And I just think it's, it's completely crazy to get everything right and then go rockets terraform in mars right at the end and it's just like dude i just read this entire you know war and peace length novel and then in the last page you just you just do something completely bizarre i just don't get it maybe i'm dumb maybe i don't i don't understand i don't think it's ferdinand and isabella i think that they you know we needed to fund universities that studied natural philosophy and and, and mathematics and physics 
and we needed to explore the world because we didn't know what was here. And we should go to Mars and we should go to the moon. And we should have, I, if somebody said that our rocket allocation is stupid, we should take it to zero. I would be fighting tooth and nail to make sure that rockets are budgeted. For. Okay. The mm -hmm. emphasis on rockets is psychotic. It's, it's like you're looking at a portfolio of a very, very rich person that's only in one municipal bond or something. And you're like, or SPAC. Make, make this make sense. <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh, but then, of course, he is you know, more diversified neurologically than almost anybody. <clears throat> uh, I, we can I'm just saying that he doesn't have the right to hijack the rock. The, 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 we need to spread out and diversify because we're going to get ourselves killed on one planet with a shared atmosphere. It's completely unreasonable for him. It's, it's wonderful. I mean, I, I just, I have a very clear idea that he's one of the smartest, most forward thinking people and he's got a rocket company and he's talking in some sense, his book. Right. And no. he, he knows, look, I don't know him, but I almost, I almost feel like I can guarantee you he knows better. And so, you know, I don't want to speculate on what his strategy is, but he knows better than to bet everything on Mars terraforming and the moon with rockets. <laughs>